Mackinac Island is magical. There is truly no other place on Earth quite like it. It's a bit like stepping back in time. There are no cars. There are no chain hotels or restaurants. It's quaint. It's full of history, beautiful views, horse-drawn carriages, bicycles, shopping, and fudge. Lots of fudge. Mackinac Island is just over four square miles and is located in Lake Huron on the eastern side of the Straits of Mackinac between the upper and lower peninsulas of Michigan. Long before the French or British settled in the area, Native Americans called Mackinac Island Michilimackinac, which means place of the great turtle. They said that Mackinac Island rose out of the water like a turtle referring to the limestone bluffs and formations that make up the island. When you are on the island, it's fun to pay attention to the subtle references to turtles. The island also served as the center for fur trading for centuries. Mackinac Island was actually the second national park in the United States. It was established three years after Yellowstone, but when Fort Mackinac was decommissioned in 1895, the park was handed over to the state of Michigan. It lost its national park status, but gained a new one, Michigan's first state park. 82% of the land now is state park. On Mackinac Island, where time seems to stand still, the state park looks very similar to how it looked back in 1895. So the most obvious question, how do you get there? Well, there are two ferry options, Shepplers or Starline. Both run boats all day long out of Mackinac City in St. Ignace. It's a fun and unique way to begin your adventure to Mackinac Island. You can go for just the day or plan to stay a night or two, but it is a good idea for everyone in your party to understand what time your return boat leaves and where to meet to conclude your day. If you miss the last ferry of the day, you'll be staying there for the night. There are so many things to do on the island, so it's helpful to plan ahead and make a game plan. Also, remember to wear your walking shoes. One favorite for visitors is biking. Since there are no cars permitted on the island, bicycles rule the road. There are many places to rent bikes for all ages, and if you've never ridden a tandem bicycle, you should probably take that opportunity. One delightful adventure is to bike around the entire island. It's just over 8 miles, and most of the journey takes you along the shore, enjoying the breeze and beauty of Lake Huron. There are really cool places to stop along the way, where you can take pictures, skip rocks, and marvel at the sights, like Arch Rock. If you have more time, you can head to the interior of the island and get lost on the many different trails exploring. Another way to get around is by horse. There are carriages you can hop on like taxis for a short ride, or you can rent one for a guided tour all around the island to see the sights. The United States has 15,000 golf courses, and Mackinac Island is home to two of the most iconic and unique courses. One has a mile and a half horse-drawn carriage ride between the nines, and the other is laid out on a battlefield where American soldiers died in a failed attempt to gain control of the Great Lakes from the British. In addition, there's an incredible natural grass putting course that's perfect for the entire family. Many visitors come for just the day to the island, and some stay a little longer. 
The island is home to many bed and breakfasts and many beautiful resorts and hotels. There are more than 1,600 unique rooms that offer timeless charm and hospitality. Even if you don't stay there, checking out the world-famous Grand Hotel should be a priority for everyone. The front porch is the largest in the world, at 660 feet long. It's lined with rocking chairs and begs you to relax, enjoy a beverage, and take in the stunning view of the lake and the Mackinac Bridge. And if you'd like to splurge on a meal, the famed lunch buffet is worth every penny. Spending some time at Fort Mackinac is another must-do activity. Constructed by the British during the American Revolution on the southern bluff of Mackinac Island, it stands 150 feet above the Straits of Mackinac. Today, the original restored fort is a national historic landmark. You can see the oldest building in Michigan, along with 13 other historic structures. History comes to life here, with period costumes, soldiers marching, rifles firing and cannons blasting. You can really get a sense of what life was like here long ago. You can eat at the tea room, located in the fort, with picturesque views of the park and water, where freighters and ferries pass by all season long. There are many dining options on the island, from little cafes, to casual eateries, to fine dining, and lots of places to grab some ice cream, and the fudge. Did I mention the fudge yet? Mackinac Island's famous fudge is a must when you visit the island. There are seven fudge shops on the island where you can watch the masters make the fudge. You can sample some flavors and stock up on the sugary goodness to bring home to share or enjoy by yourself. In the peak season of summer, more than 10 tons of sugar are transported to the island each week for fudge making and they bring it by ferry boat and then by horses. This is used to make 10,000 pounds of fudge every day. Truly, your time on the island, however long you're lucky enough to stay, will be a highlight in your memory bank forever. It's just a different world there. Without the busyness of the rest of the world, it's worth the trip if you've never been to Mackinac Island. And if you visited before, you know why it's worth going back time and time again. Thanks for watching Shore Me Some More. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below and click to subscribe to our channel. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next video about shores, the outdoors, and more.